Hello, and welcome to the NC Libraries Understanding Fair Dealing tutorial. This brief tutorial will look at what fair dealing is, the criteria for fa fair dealing, and fair dealing analysis. Let's get started. So, what is fair dealing? Fair dealing is an exception under the Copyright Act that can be described as using a copyrighted work for the purpose of research, private study, education, parody or satire, news reporting, criticism or review, and does not infringe copyright. When using the fair dealing exception, it is crucial that your use fall under the, the ones listed in the Copyright Act. These include research, private study, education, parody or satire, news reporting, criticism or review. You must also remember to cite your sources. The following are reasons why you need to cite your sources. It is a criteria of fair dealing according to the Copyright Act. It is also giving credit where credit is due. And finally, another reason why you should cite is you're respecting the value, time, and effort put into the creation of a work. For more information about citing, please consult the why, where, and when of citing tutorial. As a student, you are most likely using information for the purpose of research, private study, or education. Congratulations! You have passed the first stage of the fair dealing analysis. To make sure that you, your use of a work would be considered fair dealing, it is important to evaluate your purpose against six fair dealing criteria. Number one, the purpose of the dealing. What are you using the work for? Remember, it should be for one of the fair dealing uses such as research, private study, education, parody or satire, news reporting, criticism or review. Number two, the character of the dealing. How many copies of this work are you making? For instance, are you making multiple copies of the work available on a public site for others to copy? That would be considered unfair. Or are you putting it on a password protected site like Blackboard? That would be considered fair. Number three, the amount of the dealing. How much of the work is being copied? Consider the quantity and quality of the work being copied. Remember, the less being copied is better. An excerpt of a short story or a chapter of a book being copied would be fair. Copying an entire book of short stories would be considered unfair. Number four, alternatives to the dealing. Can you use something in the public domain or creative commons? If you are in doubt whether your copying will be considered fair dealing, do not copy the work. Consult your library staff and visit the library subject guide, Copyright for Students, for alternative sources. Number five, the nature of the work. Is the work being copied confidential? Is the work in intended for a paying clientele? Copying a confidential or restricted work would be considered unfair. Copying a work that is intended to be circulated for public interest would be considered fair. Number six, the effect of the dealing on the work. Will the copying of the work potentially compete with the market of the original? If the answer is yes, this use would be unfair. If the answer is no, this would be considered a fair use. To recap, today we learned what fair dealing is, criteria for fair dealing, and the fair dealing analysis. Please remember, if you have any problems, to con consult the library. Thanks for listening. Created using Powtoon.